part of that procession route carried Muhammad Ali's casket here along West Broadway, where people filled the streets, they filled the sidewalks, and now this is what's left behind, that cardboard sign that reads, the greatest, we love you. This is my daughter when she was nine years old. There are hundreds of photos just like it. Muhammad Ali connecting with some of his littlest. And who was Ali? The greatest. And biggest. Ali, the greatest. Fans. Rebecca Jacobs met Ali as a little girl. She admired this photo Friday while waiting outside of 80 Porter and Sons funeral home where Ali's procession began. Hundreds lined the procession route to pay respects. Now I'm holding back the tears just looking at the cars pulling up knowing that this is it right here. The crowd showered the procession with rose petals, Ali cheers, and love. Even in death, Muhammad Ali is giving back to his community, and it's just so overwhelming. You know, we love the champ. We love what he's done for the community. We love what he's done all over the world, and we just appreciate the love that he's given us even in death. Gospel music echoed throughout West Broadway in anticipation of the champ's arrival. Chills spread from person to person with the passing of Ollie's flower-covered hearse. It was just awesome just to even be in the presence of him coming down the street. Yes, very emotional. And one thing I love about Ollie is it's always a cliche statement, but it's always been said, never forget where you came from. And no matter how great he got, he never forgot his city. And we love him for that. Just as he would have had it, his family and friends, some celebrities, left windows down, waving, smiling, and reaching out to the crowd. Got in touch with Sniff twice. It was awesome. <laughs> a moment of happiness, pride, peace, and inspiration. A reminder and lesson of how to be great. Muhammad Ali wasn't just a boxer. He helped people. Ali, 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 Ali. Erica Coghill, WLKY News.